I think that this bird would probably finish it off. It is a ground scraper thrush, an insect-eating bird. It rushes along the ground and picks up insects, but it wouldn't be, uh, well, it wouldn't look askance at an edible arachnid, even if it did have such vicious mandibles as the one you've just been looking at. And they're not very common here, and I always think that they're really quite fun to watch. Hopping around the place, they're beautiful colours. And really kind of interesting that they should be that colour on the front, and then so well camouflaged at the back. Male and female, exactly the same colour. That's a very good, very good question, Akeem. I'm not sure that I know the answer to this. You say, I feel like I may have read it though, you say, why do some birds hop and some birds walk? Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, you know, one of the reasons is the, is the back claw, I think, is probably one of the reasons. The birds that walk tend to be things like the lapwings and the thick knees, and they don't have, or they've got a very shortened back f claw. So most of the passerines, like this bird here, have got three front-facing toes and one back-facing toe, and the thrushes are no different. And that foot is designed to perch, so they're designed to perch on branches. Obviously this thing feeds on the ground, and so it hops around on the ground, but the birds that live on the ground and do a lot of running and walking tend not, but like us, to have a back-facing toe. And I think you'll find that the hoppers are probably those with back-facing toes, and it makes it very difficult for them to walk, and therefore they hop.